Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the store that has the most dabbling Yankees imaginable. That's right, welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a train show. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more trains. Oh, before you get into it, uh, Randy says hi. Hi, Randy. How are you doing? Thanks for watching. Anyway, we're going to be starting with these Atherin Roundhouse 50-foot double door box cars check these out here and i really like these cars here we have here the burlington northern santa fe we have here the canadian national and then finally we have the mn and s now these are really nice box cars here i particularly like if you take a look at the top here you see the spray on the top of the roofs there that is really cool looking and the neat thing about these cars here is these doors actually do open up what I know, right? So you could put whatever in there, or you can do what I like to do. Hi, Engineer Hall. How are you? Hi, DJ. How are you in there? Exactly. So you can do all types of stuff with these cars here. I really like the look of these cars, and they're very affordable. These box cars retail for $34.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. I got a couple of different road numbers to go with these box cars, so you can have a nice long box car train. We all need box cars, so come get these uh, uh, these box cars opening things today. I'll be looking for you. So us railroad people have become real accustomed to the sounds that these locomotives and freight cars make. So I thought we would play a new game here at the Engineer Hall Show. That's right. We are going to be playing what? That train sound. So these are sounds that are related to railroads in some way. And since Engineer Hall, you're the only one here. Are you ready to play? Let's play. All right. Are you ready? So here is the first sound. Name that train sound. Are you ready? Ready. Wow. Um, flame squeal. Oh, I'm so sorry that is incorrect. The correct answer was that is the sound my car makes when I brake after I accidentally passed the hobby shop. So, yep. The what? So, yeah. That, nope, that, that, that's the answer. All right. Hey, we got a new item that we're going to continue taking a look at here from Micro Train. So, this is something a little bit different. It's a really nice green storage kit. Check out this guy here. Now, I didn't bring out all the pieces here because there's a whole bunch of stuff here. But what I have here is I have a green hopper car that is placed onto these two beams that are uh, pillars right here, piers right here. And there is a whole bunch of material inside of this kit. Obviously, I would need to cut this in and glue it in and whatnot. But the idea is I would put this over here and then it'll look like I have kind of a green storage bin on my railroad. So a lot of times we have, you know, hopper cars, we have buildings, but we might, might not have something that looks like this. And this is a really neat look at design. I know a lot of freight cars and passenger cars, when they get towards the end of their life, they kind of turn into office buildings or storage kits or tanks or whatever. So this is a really neat depiction of that. Now these cars, or this kit rather, retails for $25.95, what we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler, for $20.49. It's a really neat looking kit here. If you're an end scaler, you want to put a little bit something different on your layout, I really recommend this kit. There's a really a lot of cool parts in here that I did not bring out. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get this holding green on your railroad today. I think you're cheating because I swear that was a uh, flame nope, wheel. car. All right, so I had you Don't worry, we got more sounds for you to decide from, all right? Are you ready for sound number two? Uh, what's number two? All right, here we go. Okay, okay. Train passing by. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. That's actually customers running me over at a train show to get to the deals we have. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds like a freight train rolling by. But it was so, a freight train. Nope, it's customers. I, I'm, I'm qualified. So speaking of oh. freight cars, we're going to be taking a look at Cheating. these Trinity cover hoppers here from Atlas. And these are actually part of the Master Plus series. And I have a couple of different cars here for you to choose from here. This, of course, is the Cargill. I have here the CIT Group. And I have the Greenbrier. Now, these are incredibly detailed cars here, and I love all the detail that goes into here. Take a look at these walkways that are up here. And these are really nice looking cars when they derail, because take a look at all of that detail that goes in there. I got the color roller bearing caps there. I mean, Very these nice. are just really nice looking cars here. Very nice car. And Atlas does a really good job with these covered hoppers. This is not the first time they have come out with um, covered hoppers. So I really think you need these cars here. And I have a whole bunch of different road numbers to go with this so you can have a nice long train. 
Now these cars retail for $64.95, but we're selling here a Yankee Dabbler for $44.99. Again, it's a very nice car here. It has a lot of weight to it too. I'm, you know, incredibly strong, but this actually has a lot of weight that goes into here. So you don't have to worry about uh, weighing this down here. So I really think you need these cars here. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get one of these three, or you get a whole nice long cover hopper train. We also probably have some older versions of stock as well. So if you're interested in some hoppers, check out our website, yankeedabbler.com and get them rolling today. All right, Engineer Hall, you're 0 for 2 in these sounds, but don't worry, we have some more playing. For example, here is our next sound. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, I think like an alcohol startup. Ooh, I am so sorry. That's actually the refrigerator in my train room. It's very loud. What? So, yeah, when you no, it, come it on. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, all types of trains for when oh, come man. over, see the trains. Yeah, so. Hey, speaking of trains here, I have a really nice looking locomotive here from Atlas. This is actually part of the O scale line. And I have here a P42 Genesis. This is the number 108 for the 50th anniversary of Amtrak. Now, I'm going to get this engine started up here. And this is a really neat looking engine. We have seen this engine in HO. We've seen it in Anscia. Well, this is the first time now that we're going to see it in O scale. Really cool looking startup sequence. Here is the bell. Here is the horn. actually does smoke too it needs to get fired up here for a little bit but i love all the detailing here especially if you take a look here you see the general electric logo that's happening right there there's a lot of really cool things happening with this engine here let's see if we can get this fired up here now i don't have the dcs system at our store which is the optimal way to operate this but i'm gonna use a conventional transformer should work just fine we're gonna go forward usually run on what is called the number 42 train on the Amtrak which goes from Philadelphia down to uh, Pittsburgh so what happens is they actually included all the station routes of that locomotive of that train in this engine and I actually have this engine on my land at home and I took a little video for you to see Give all the different sounds that, that we have now departing on track 2 train number 42 the Pennsylvania this stop is Philadelphia. This stop is Paoli. This stop is Lancaster. This stop is Harrisburg. This stop is Tyro. This stop is Altoona. This stop is Latrobe. So I think that's really cool that they included all those different stops there, and especially if you're from the Northeast. That is a really neat thing to have on your layout. I'm really glad I have one of those. Now the retail value of this locomotive is, where is it? $619.95, but we're selling here in Yankee Dabbler for $589.99. Now these are very limited quantities here. We only have this engine here in stock here. So if you're interested in it, don't delay too much because this engine will fly out of here. And unfortunately, you're not gonna be seeing one until they do another run of it. So if you're interested and celebrating the 50th anniversary of Amtrak, come to Yankee Dabbler and get this number 108 pulling your Amtrak trains on your layout today. By the way, I should mention that that 108, uh, the optimal way to operate it, of course, is using the DCS system. However, you can also operate that locomotive conventionally as well if you just have a regular transformer. Hey, time for our next. Name that sound engineer, Hall. You ready? 
Don't be cheating me. I'm You're cheating, cheating me. You're cheating any me. Any of these. All right. So here is the next sound. Okay. It's sound like a. Uh, I don't know. Idling. I'm sorry. Uh, engines idling. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's actually the sound that a DC locomotive made when I tried to put it on the DCC track. So yeah, it was Man. rumbling all the Why are you of doing like this? Why are you doing so, like this yep. today? So, it would be fair. You're not you, really good at this. You're really not. I, I know what I. I, I know what I hear. Locomotives. We have some no, 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 no. You know what I hear. You start doing me dirty. Let's check out these diesel locomotives. These here. are the MP15 ACs. And these are really cool. Look at diesel locomotives here. I have two versions of the Long Island Railroad here. So for your Long Island fans, there you go. I have a really cool look at Milwaukee Road engine there. And then I have the Union Pacific. Now these are really neat looking engines. And if you take a look at each one of them, they are differently styled based on the railroads that they have. For example, if you take a look at this Milwaukee Road one here, you can see I have the pulsate and beaten up top, as well as the horns located onto the side. Whereas if you take a look at these Long Island engines here, I got the horns in the middle, no beacon. And actually these come with like little snow plows up front. So it's just really neat that each one of these locomotives has a different variation. I really think that's neat that the manufacturers are coming out with custom detailing depending on what locomotive it is, what road name it is, what era it is. I really think that's really neat. Now these locomotives retail here for $329.98, but we're selling in here Yankee Dabbler for $263.99. Of course, you always throw in that engineer hall discount, save a little bit of money on that purchase as well. But these are really neat looking locomotives. I like switcher diesels. I don't know why. I always just love the switcher uh, engine on my layout. I have a fair amount of them. So, Engineer Hall, which one of these do you want to see operate, and why is it the Milwaukee Road? Um, It's not the Milwaukee Road, but I, I like the Union Pacific. We have a uh ditch lights there nice and bright good color and a lot of detail on this All locomotive right. so we'll get that milwaukee road on the rails and we'll see what it sounds like no no this one all right oh you know what? i think this one have a classification like oh no milwaukee road it is you cheating me again you see you're cheating me all right engineer hall I really wanted that milwaukee road so here we go that's not what i said
Anyway, so as I said, these engines retail for three twenty nine ninety eight, but we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for two sixty three ninety nine. Now, in my opinion, I think you need all four of them. Each one will have a different sound set, so I think they're really cool. But you can always just buy one, I guess. That's fine. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these engines on your railroad today. Let me tell you something. There's never enough engines. <laughs> Unlimited power. Let's take a look at a recap of all the things that we saw in today's show here. Starting out in O scale land, we had here this Atlas P42, 50th anniversary diesel locomotive. We had from Ather and these MP15 ACs. We had here from Atlas, we had these Trinity covered hoppers. And from Athern, part of the Randhouse brand, we have here these 50-foot two-door hoppers. And of course, from Microchains, we add this grain kit as well. But of course, if you're looking for something that we did not showcase on our show, well, go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Look at the search bar, what you're looking for, and hopefully we will get it to you as soon as can so you can have lots of fun with railroading this summer. If you're not already subscribed to the Engineer Hall channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on all the summer Engineer Hall videos. There's just too many of the recap. There's too many. I, I especially like the boxcar swimsuit competition one. That one's really good. So, you like that one, yeah, all four yeah, corners? That's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. So, so make sure you check that one out here. All right, we're going to conclude our show today with a rail fan video. We're going to go up to Essex, Connecticut, take a look at the Essex Steamboat and Riverboat Tour. We're going to see a Chinese Mikado number 3025 going down the tracks. This engine, believe it or not, I'm older than it, which is kind of weird. So check out this uh, this engine going through the Connecticut countryside. Really cool looking locomotive. Hey, Engineer Hall, let's finish our game of Name That Sound. Are you ready? Come you on, be, ready? You're going to cheat me. No, I'm going to cheat me. These are actual but... sounds here. Are All you right. ready? Mm -hmm. Here is the final railroad sound. Oh, that's um, uh, a saw? That's what? A saw? A saw? Yeah. No, I'm so sorry. The correct answer was that is the sound my credit card makes every time I make a purchase at the train store. I oh. think I can. I think I can. See, yeah. So sometimes I thought it could, but, you know, usually it doesn't. All right. So that was name our sound here. So thank you very much for tuning in. Now, if you excuse me, I only have four diesels here, so I got to put some more on there because I'm thinking... <laughs> 40 would be an optimal number. What do you think? No, I'm like 50. 50, okay. Well, this is big, so this is kind of like two right there. So okay. there you go. Okay. All right, I just need more engines. Here's a steam engine here. Um, we could put wheels on this thing, and that would be an engine. Oh, sweet. Okay, notepad. Great. Um, that could be an engine for now. And, uh, ooh, I got a lot of engines up here. All right, so I got to go build some engines here. See ya.